Hello, Cancers. This is Starbright. I am going to do your reading today. This is going to be for July the 22nd, 2022. Will you and your ex get back together? This is not going to resonate with everyone because this is a collective reading for Cancers. It's not going to, it's not going to represent everybody. So please don't get mad if it's not your story. This is going to be for the sun, the moon, rise of Venus, and Jupiter in Cancer. Spirit of the earth, water, fire, and air with truth and clarity. This reading for July the 27th. What happened in the past? The person that cancers on cancer's mind. What happened in the past? What's happening right now? What is going on? What's happening right now between cancers and their person? What's happening? What's happening right now? What is your ex situation? What situation your ex is in right now? X feels about you right now. How does Cancer's X feel about them as of right now? All right. How does the X feel about reconciling with you? How does your X feel about reconciling with you right now? What can you do? To move this process along. What can you do to move this process along? And will you guys reconcile? Will there be any reconciliation here between cancer and the person that's on their mind? Bottom of the deck, a missed opportunity. Let's see what's going on here. What happened in the past, cancers? In the past. There was an equal give and take. In the past, the scales were balanced. It was an equal give and take. Tell me more about this. Some of you guys were dealing with a tour, so somebody's in this energy. It was an equal give and take. Tell me more about this, what happened in the past, the Six of Pentacles. And then this person started hiding someone from you. Tell me what, Spirit. Tell me what. You feel like things were unknown. So you feel like something was going on with this person. Could have been with a Pisces. This is one had made a decision and work on things with someone. Someone that they were still holding on to. They wouldn't let this person go. That left you out in the cold, or you could have left this person out in the cold and close off this cycle with you. But someone they saw they said being in a love and happy family with, or someone they was in a love and happy family with. All right, some of you guys were dealing with a, a, a Pisces, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, a Taurus here, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces. Taurus, or somebody's in this energy. They might have this in their birth chart. All right. What's happening now, Kansas? What's happening now? An ending. You guys had an ending. This, this, this relationship was not built on solid ground. So, you know who knocked it down? Spirit knocked that relationship down. He knocked that tower down. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more. Something that suddenly happened. Tell me more about this tower. Tell me more about this. Tell me more about this tower. What's happening now? Some of you guys had a tower with someone. You were being patient about this. To be a Leo, an Aries Leo said to somebody's in this energy. that 
right now, for some of you guys, want to take a leap of faith. With you. But you you feel very burdened. You feel very burnt out. Tell me one spirit. Because of obligations. But your luck had changed. Okay, this person, you feel like this person want to take the leap of faith with you because you feel like this person is very burdened and burnt out because of responsibility. You feel like this person, luck had changed. Money was coming in and money was going out. Some of you guys have walked away from this person. That try to take this leap of faith with you. So you see this person as someone very deceitful. Or you're going to see this person as someone very deceitful. And some of you guys will hold back on this person. Wanting to move to come of waters with you. Because you're going to be very indecisive about this person. Because there's someone else. You feel like there's someone else in this picture. This Queen of Pentacles. And you you feel like this person will try to come in and try to manipulate you. And you making your final decision about this person. That you feel like you need to protect yourself. Because you know this person is a charmer. You know this person coming in offering to take you out somewhere. And you feel like this person will use that to try to get you back or fight for you. And then ghost you. Some of you guys are scared to let this person back in because you feel like this person is going to ghost you. Some of you guys did not let this person back in. You feel like this person is going to ghost you. If it's not happened, this is something that's going to happen. If it's not happened already. Okay. How does your ex feel about your ex? What's the situation your ex is in? What's the situation your ex is in? Your ex has started talking to, talking to someone. Your ex started talking to someone. Tell me more about this king of sword. This person, this your ex, start talking to someone, but they still had their sword up. And they see this person as a player. They let this person talk, but they still see whoever they're dealing with is a player. And that person wants to move forward with them. With the mother of their kids, father of their kids, someone they used to be married to or committed to, or this is a Taurus. They let this person say what they have to say, but he still sees this person as a player. And that person wants to move to common waters with them. They could be committed to this person. And this person wants to start a new passion store with them. They could be married to this person or live together with this person. But this person is thinking about committing to you. Why this person, he gonna, this person, listen to what this person have to say. 
whoever they were dating, whoever they was living together with, the baby mama, baby daddy, whatever. But this person is thinking about committing to you. This person daydreaming about you, wish for thinking. That person want to make you their choice. That's what's going on right now. This person, like they had to end with someone, but that person they were talking to was trying to get back into the picture. But he still, he or she still see this person as a player. And this person is thinking about committing to you guys. Okay. How does your person feel about you right now? How does person is feeling about you? Your person feel like you want to end things with them. You don't want nothing else to do with them. Well, there's an end and there's a beginning. But that person feel like you just completely end things with them. Tell me more about this. This is the one to see you as their twin flame. This person could be younger than you. You don't want to get back together with them because of someone you see as your twin flame. And this person could be younger than you. This is one that you see as your wish. Your person didn't know that you don't... Something here. The person knows that you want to end things. How does your person feel about you? That person knows that you want to end things with them. Because of someone you see as your twin flame. Someone could be younger than you. This is one that sees your... Uh, uh, this is one he said feel like this is your wish. Hmm... All right, how does your ex feel about getting back together with you? Mmm. That person is all in their head thinking, heavily thinking, can't sleep at nighttime. All in their head about this. Overthinking things. The person will be having nightmares. The person will be suffering. This person will be um, very, you know, that person will have some kind of depression going on here. That person feeling isolated, feeling ashamed, feeling hopeless. Could be a Gemini or somebody's in this energy. Tell me more about this. How does your person feel about getting back together with you? That person is overthinking things. That person all in their head. Tell me more about this nine of swords. This is one who's been thinking about something in the past that happened in the past. He's heavily thinking that he had a good past with you. And he missed you. This person missed you. This person is bored without you. This person feel like a lot of people was just fighting for you right now. Because you're in the spotlight. You're getting a lot of attention. It's stressing this person out. That person feel like they had a good past with you. Yeah, this person have a lot of feelings for you. Some of you guys are pregnant or this person thinking about uh, uh, having a child with you. And this is their final decision. They want this ten of pentacles with you. Happy family, happy life. But this person hard to be broken. This person is trying to balance themselves. And speak to so that before so they can speak the truth to you. Why they had your relationship on hold and why they took a break from you. That person trying to balance themselves before they let you know what happened. Why they took this break from you. Some of you guys were dealing with a Libra, a Pisces, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius, Sagittarius, Libra. Virgo, Libra, Virgo, Capricorn, Taurus, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Leo, Cancer, Cancer. What is that? Uh, a Leo, Scorpio, Gemini. That person trying to balance themselves. <laughs> All right. Where we at? What can you do to help move this situation along? What can you do? What can you do? Hmm. <laughs> This is for the ones that want to reconcile with this person. 
This, this is for the ones who want to reconcile with this person. Send that person a message. An unexpected message, Spirit said. That's if you want to reconcile. Send this person an unexpected message. Send me one. And let them know that you're single. And you've been waiting for them. And that you feel very betrayed by them. So you could be happy. Send a person unexpected message. Tell them that you're single, that you've been waiting for them, and you that you're feeling betrayed because they was happy with someone that controlled them. Huh. Huh. That was spirit said. Hmm. Okay, it says, Will you reconcile with your person? Will you reconcile with your person? Will you guys, will you and your person reconcile? Hmm. Page of ones. I mean, pay the sword. And the answer to that question is yes. This is someone that's heavily watching you. This person got their eyes on you. You're going to get some kind of news, unwelcome news. <laughs> or you're going to hear some kind of gossip about this person. This is the one that's been watching you. This person is very confident. That person has a lot of confidence. This person watches you. The person stalks you. Tell me more about this. Will they reconcile? We got the page of sword is here. The answer is yes. This person is watching you. That person waiting for the perfect time. Watching you, waiting on the perfect time to apologize to you. This is something they see you as they wish fulfillment. They're sad because they would miss, they feel like they missed this opportunity with you. But they don't know how you really feel about them because they was wearing their heart on their sleeve. Yeah, you're going to get your justice from this person. But some of you guys can be looking back at something that happened in the past. You can't get over that. Something happened in the past. Some of you guys cannot get over that. Because this person had a reunion with someone that they wanted an opportunity with that, that they saw with their soulmate. Some of you guys cannot, it's not going to give, you're not. How about that? You're not going to forgive this, this person for something that happened in the past. You feel like this person, it, it broke your heart so they can reconcile with someone they want an opportunity with they saw as a soulmate. Some of you guys, you'll get back with this person, but you're going to still be looking back at something that, that person had done to you. Someone they saw as a soulmate, someone they had wanted a future with. Someone that's very successful. And this is something that's going to make you mad. You're going to be angry about this. You're going to keep thinking about this. This is something that you feel like you're not going to have a victory with this person. It's in reverse. That victory is in reverse. Because of someone you feel like this person is very attracted to. Some of you guys might act distant toward this person, to this person. You might leave, you might act dis the distant. Some of you guys, because of someone new that you want to meet, someone new that you already met. You might leave because of someone else new, or you might leave, but you're going to share some tears. You might leave this person because of someone that you rekindle a relationship with someone or someone that or uh, someone this is a, this could be someone new that you, you met at work. 
And he, some of you guys will cut this person out of your life. Because you're going to feel like this person's still hiding someone from you. And you feel like you need to protect yourself. And I can see that you guys are going to reconcile with each other. But once you guys get, you know, get back and reconcile with each other, you're still going to be looking back at something that happened in the past. You, you, some of you guys are not going to forgive that person because of what he did to you in the past. You can't get over that. An answer to the question, would you guys reconcile? The answer is yes. But I see someone walking away, starting a new relationship with someone else. All right, Kansas, if you're new to my channel, hey, hit the like button, hit the notification button, you'll know when I'm on. Until next time, you guys, bye-bye.